building partnerships that invest in world-class facilities. Welcome to Chicago at Play. We had something very exciting happen recently, and it's kind of an old story that just suddenly came to light. There were three paintings, three Japanese paintings from the 1893 World's Fair that have been in storage at the Chicago Park District. And they came to light and I was able to come here and take a look at them and it's astounding. These three paintings are sliding door paintings. The paintings were in the Ho-Oden, or Phoenix Hall, the Japanese pavilion built on a tranquil island in Jackson Park for the 1893 World's Fair. The Chicago Park District moved into its current headquarters building in 2000. I had somebody that worked with me back then who was down cleaning out some of the vaults and way on the end of one of these really kind of rectangular spaces, he pulled out these three huge Japanese screens and he was really excited and came running and came and got me and we stood and we looked at them and we just thought, wow, these are remarkable. We thought, they don't look that old, they were probably from the 1933 World's Fair. But we were in the middle of a move, and so we had to figure out what to do. So we very carefully wrapped them in plastic and put them in storage. I think the fact that the Park District has kept them in such good shape for all these decades is absolutely incredible. So I was going through old documents here in our archives room, and I pulled out a survey that I had seen before, but I had never gone through very carefully. And it was a, an inventory from the 1950s that had very detailed information about three Japanese screens from the World's Columbian Exposition of 1893. And the light bulb went off, and I realized, oh my gosh, those are the screens that I saw 15 years ago when we were moving. Once the Park District realized they had these remarkable pieces of history, the Art Institute was immediately notified. It was wonderful to get the call and be able to come here. Uh, I came here with, the, with our conservator, and we examine these pieces very carefully because it's important to figure out exactly what the materials are and how they're made before any plan for actual conservation treatment could be formulated. So the recent documentation that was just uncovered um, helped us understand one piece of the puzzle that we never knew. We thought that any screens or paintings would have probably been destroyed in the fire that burned down the entire Ho'oden in 1946. But what we learned from the documentation was because of earlier acts of vandalism, the Chicago Park District went, salvaged these three beautiful Japanese screens three years earlier in 1943, and brought them to the Park District's administrative headquarters where we found them in 2000. The Art Institute had photos of the original Ho'oden, which have led them to understand more about these works of art. What is portrayed here are phoenix birds. These are mythical birds, and they have very brightly colored uh, plumage. The feathers just flow on and on. And these birds like to land only on one type of tree, the Paulonia tree, which has these beautiful blue flowers. As you can see, there's a lot of gold. There's a lot of bright colors. Um, there's these very stylized birds, and so when I first saw them, I just thought, oh, they look very 1930s, Art Deco. Um, I, in a million years at that point in, in time, I never thought they could have been as old as from the 1893 World's Fair. These are sliding door paintings, and so they have lacquer frames around the outside, and they would have been like movable walls inside this building. In Japanese, the, the term for these sliding doors is fusuma, and they're about seven feet high and seven feet wide, each of them. For now, the screens will remain in storage while their fate is decided and they are conserved to their original beauty. 
The Chicago Park District and the Art Institute, we both have the best interests of these paintings at heart. We want to make sure that they get the best care, that they're conserved properly, that they're displayed for the public to see. So we're working together to formulate a plan in order to be able to show them as, as much as possible. And we hope to uh, be able to tell the complete story um, of, the, of the Phoenix Hall um, through these wonderful works of art that survive. Thank you.